So today, uh, um, my name is Koichi Tasada. Uh, I want to talk about uh, what happened in your Ruby application. Uh, so I want to introduce uh, some introspection feature of Ruby itself. At first, I want to summarize my presentation. So I have talked about the two topics. One, uh, so Google it. <laughs> One is Google it. So there are many, many existing uh, uh, tools to inspect your latest application, and there are many, many uh, good resources. So Google, uh, please check it. And uh, so in this presentation, I will uh, provide several keywords. So please uh, check it. And also, I want to. Uh, tell you that you can make it. You can make your own tools uh, using uh, recent MRI. So that that was, uh, that is uh, my uh, uh, topics. I want to say. So this is my introduction. Introduction. I'm a member. Uh, I'm a member of MRI Committee since 2007, and. Uh, I'm a developer of original uh, uh, YARB developer. Uh, I want to ask you that uh, how many people are using Ruby 1.8? Oh, only a few. <laughs> Maybe uh, if you are using uh, MRI, then uh, I. You, you are a user of my software. Thank you for using my software. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the uh, virtual machine is uh, introduced from Ruby 1.9, and uh, recent Ruby 2.2 also using the virtual machine. So uh, unfortunately, I am not a Rails programmer. Uh, my wife is a Rails programmer, so my wife is my customer, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a Rails programmer. I'm sorry. So I'm a newbie. So and this is the first time to attend Rails conference. So I'm very excited to uh, talk uh, talk uh, talk here. Thank you. Uh, so this is a very important slide. So, <laughs> Uh, Herok, uh, Herok employed me, me uh, and Herok has booth at layer three. And Herok, uh, this afternoon, Herok shows a sponsor session, so please check it. And Herok uh, uh, employs us uh, uh, as a math team. So we have three Japanese uh, full time Ruby commit developers. So. Our mission is design Ruby language itself and improve quality of MRI. Maybe quality means uh, several, top, several meaning. So one is uh, no bugs and performance and low resources, such as uh, low memory consumption. I, uh, we, our team are working on such a, uh, improving the quality of MRI. Our, uh, we, we, uh, Matt's team has three members. Uh, maybe you know Matt, designer and director of Ruby itself, and Nobu. So he is very quite, uh, quite active committer. And uh, me, I'm uh, uh, my uh, nickname is Ko1 Koichi, and uh, I'm an internal hacker. Uh, he Matt. Uh, Matt <laughs> Yukihiro Matsumoto is a, uh, so maybe you don't need to, uh, uh, so I, I don't need to uh, tell you who, uh, who is he, but uh, he is known as a title collector. So he, so he has many, many titles. I cannot list everything of his positions. And Nobu. So Nobu is very uh, active committer. So he, if he find uh, bugs, then he fix bug, he fix bugs, and uh, include bugs, <laughs> some other bugs, and fix 
again and again. So this is a, uh, the commit number of Nobu. So as you can see, the, uh, oh, so many commits uh, created by Nobu, so we say he is a patch monster. <laughs> and also, I, I am an internal hacker, and also I'm a de EDD developer. So this is a commit number of uh, day by day for, uh, of my, uh, my changes. And there is a several, top, several peaks. And this is a, a Ruby conf. This is a release of Ruby 2.0. This one, this one, this one. So everything is based uh, before the, uh, some events. So EDD is event-driven development. <laughs> so, so, so it means that uh, uh, if you invite me to some conferences, so then Ruby performance will, will be improved, so please invite me. <laughs> Our recent achievements, so Matt's team and other uh, Ruby core team members achieved the uh, re release of Ruby 2.2. I have no time to explain everything, so I skip the, uh, the new features of Ruby 3.2, but uh, all of uh, these slides uh, will be uploaded, so please check it if you have interest about so what, is, what is the new feature of Ruby 2.2 or in, internal improvements. Uh, I want to show one improvement. Maybe Rails, so you are a Rails programmer and you love to write uh, keyword parameters. So keyword parameters is easy and uh, useful, but it is slow. So compare with normal method dispatch. So compare with uh, such a uh, normal method dispatch, it was, uh, it, it was uh, 30 times uh, slower. So on Ruby 2.2, we improve the performance. Uh, so it is faster than uh, about 50, 15 times faster. It is still uh, slower, uh, but I think it is uh, enough for us. And also, the next target of Matt's team and our Ruby core team is Ruby 2.3. So we are now uh, planning some features, and we will release uh, Ruby 2.3 uh, at the end of this year. But uh, if you have any question, any ideas, any suggestions, then please catch me after this uh, presentation. Okay. Great. So today's topic is uh, what's happening in your Rails application. Introduction to introspection features of Ruby. This title is Dajare Club. Dajare Club is uh, uh, some kind of pun. So the, the Dajare Club is uh, created by Aaron Pat our superhero, Aaron Patterson. <laughs> so of course you know the what, uh, so he is very uh, 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 funny person. <laughs> and many Japanese Rubyists also join in to say something like the uh, pun. So something like this, but I skip this one. <laughs> so I want to introduce uh, introspection features of Ruby. Maybe you are working on uh, Ruby on Rails, and you are laid, you are, your application is on the, uh, the deep layers. So of course, there is a hardware, there is an operating system, and Ruby interpreter, and Ruby on Rails framework, or other gems. And on the such uh, layers, you, your application is was built. Most of people, for most of people, such a uh, low layer, low, low layers, 
uh, black box. Maybe you don't know how to modify Linux operating system or interpreters, how work. So it is very uh, uh, special specialty things. Uh, so computer science uh, students need to know, but maybe most of people don't, don't know about that. And also, after three days, the, your application is also black box. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to review. Uh, so if you have uh, trouble from the, such a black box, you need to understand what, hap what, what is happening in your application and your uh, computing, sy computing systems. So the question is how to inspect your Rails application. My answer is the two, uh, my answer is uh, two, uh, using existing tools and make your own suitable tools. So first of all, the, I want to introduce some existing tools. There are, we, however, we have uh, so many great presentations at this Ruby conf uh, sorry, Rails conference. So if you, so first to uh, uh, yesterday's presentations and the last, so Aaron's, uh, Aaron's keynote was also great. So I can, I can cancel this presentation, but I want to uh, talk another, another aspect of the, such a theme, topic. So, at first, uh, the performance issue. How to overcome such a uh, performance issue? The easiest, easiest way, easiest way to overcome such a performance issue is to use performance dyno on Heroku. <laughs> With performance dyno, you can use uh, uh, isolated uh, uh, computing resource uh, and has uh, huge memory, six gigabytes memory, and uh, many uh, CP uh, processors. But it's expensive, but maybe it is easiest way. Uh, of course, it, it, so you can use another uh, high performance computing resource if you have money. But sometimes we need to uh, we need to consider about the money, and uh, so we need to check the tune, tune the, your application. So at, at first we need to separate the problem. For example, if you have a slow request issue, then you need to understand what is wrong. So. Which part is slow? So DB access or external AP access or you, your Ruby application is slow because of the garbage collection or as, so what you, you wrote uh, some, some uh, bad code, you need to understand which, what is wrong. And also memory consuming issue, you need to understand who consumes the memory. So, what, which part of code consumes the memory, and so on. So one good thing is, uh, a good service is New Relic, of course. So New Relic shows uh, which part of your, your request consumes uh, the, uh, the uh, time. Maybe you, are, you, you know more, uh, you know more. I'm a newbie of Ruby on Rails, so I need, uh, so, and new, with New Relic, you can measure more detail of virtual machine. So this is important thing that uh, you can use New Relic very easily on Heroku as an uh, add-on. I'm an employee of Heroku, so I need to say that. <laughs> And also for performance, uh, pro uh, so performance, using performance profiler is good choice to understand wh what, which part of is slow. So Aaron says that there is a, a bug 
but even if it has bug, but, but it is very useful feature, useful tools, and uh, may, maybe stack profile or another uh, performance profiler is written by Aman Gupta from uh, GitHub. So uh, please check his uh, presentations. It was very uh, useful features. So I want to talk about the, the uh, memory consumption, uh, how to analyze the memory consumption. So the, at first, I, so of course we, need, we know that the Ruby has GC garbage collector. You don't need to, uh, co uh, you don't need to manage your object creation or deletion. So all of unused, unused objects are recycled automatically, so you don't need to care. And Ruby 2.2 has uh, incremental and garbage collection. So the problem is, uh, so we can, we can list the pro possible problems. So one is the incorrect garbage collector GC parameters. So Ruby, Ruby's GC can uh, tune by environment, par environment variables, but it is difficult to uh, choose the correct one. And also, if the program get, grabs uh, the many objects, we unexpectedly it will be uh, object leaking or memory leaking. And also, uh, <laughs> MRI can have a bug. And Ruby 2.1 introduced uh, uh, generational garbage collection, and generational garbage collection is uh, so shortly uh, co only correct younger objects. So if some object promoted to uh, old object unexpectedly, uh, it, it will be uh, uh, object leaking. So we don't uh, we don't recycle old objects uh, long time. So we understand the, what is the, the situation on your Rails application. Uh, I want to introduce my two gems. There are many other uh, tools uh, written by other, other people, uh, such as uh, uh, Memprof uh, by Sam Saffron, but I want to, this time I want to introduce my own uh, gems. So one is uh, GC Tracer, two major garbage collection statistics, and allocation tracer uh, to find out uh, object creation locations. So GC Tracer is very easy to use. You only need to require library and uh, write uh, GC Tracer start logging and file name. So all of, uh, all of information, uh, related information, uh, lights to the, this, fi this file, specify file. And allocation tracer in your application, you can use uh, these uh, source codes. It is very, I think it is very easy to use it. Only uh, three lines you need to write. However, this is a Rails conference, not a Ruby conference. So maybe uh, it, it, uh, this, I wrote, uh, I wrote uh, lack middleware to use these tools. So you only need to uh, write a gem, gem file and uh, writing a config.ru and enable mid, uh, middlewares. So it is easy to use for Rails uh, applications, I think. But allocation tracer is uh, a bit slow. Allocation tracer needs to trace uh, creation object and uh, free freeing object, so it, it will be uh, a throw. So you need, don't need to, uh, you shouldn't use the, this feature, this allocation tracer gem on your production application. I prepare uh, this uh, demonstration application. So it, this application uh, working on Heroku and on uh, production env environment, but uh, I enable, enabled uh, the, uh, both uh, GC Tracer and uh, Allocation Tracer. So you can check this uh, application. 
this one. This is my first Rails application <laughs> using CSS. So you can, you can sign, write. Ooh. Ooh. You can appreciate. You can appreciate something. OK, write a uh, uh, big thump. Thank you to promote Ruby. So it is some, yes, a bit slow because allocation tracer is enabled. So you can see the link to, oh, you can see the link to the uh, statistic information from these, these links. And you can see the uh, result of uh, GC tracer. So there are many, many information in this uh, screen. So I can't uh, introduce everything, but the, for example, uh, line is captured, line means the captured information. Each line is captured at the GC events. So for example, end of sweep means, uh, uh, so, sorry, GC garbage collection has several phases. So starting the marking phase and starting the uh, end of the marking phase and starting the sweeping phase and end of the uh, sweeping phase. So end, end, ending the sweeping, it, end of the sweeping means uh, uh, end of the garbage collection. So each such event, we, ca we capture all of the information. And also, tick is uh, uh, nanosecond time from epoch time. So it, it is very big number, but you can manipulate uh, uh, these tick numbers uh, to get the how, how much, how long garbage collection use. And also, uh, it's, for example, uh, total allocated, uh, sorry, total allocated object. So this line, this column. So total allocated objects and total freed objects uh, is uh, the num, so you can easy to understand. So how many objects are created and freed in this Ruby interpreter? So getting the log, then you can, you can choose the correct GC parameters and you can get the reason why your application has many memories. But it is difficult. Maybe the, this uh, blog post uh, written by Sam Saffron will help you. Or please send your, your log to me so I can, I can advise. If you are a Heroku VIP customer. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it is a joke. Uh, so uh, I, I welcome uh, everyone. So I, I, I want to get uh, many statistics to understand how to tune garbage collection. So, and also, sometimes, Sometimes uh, someone uh, asks me that uh, why my application consumes so, so much memory without any information. <laughs> I'm not a magician. I'm not, I'm not a, a wizard, so I can't understand what happened on your application. But with this log, GC Tracer log, I can understand what happened in your application. So please ask me with this log. Also, allocation tracer. We can see the uh, allocation tracer log from this link. This one. So this shows uh, uh, so which line, which location consumes uh, uh, 
the uh, sorry create uh, object are created at the, where the location so it means that the, this line this line creates uh, uh, 4000 objects so this is uh, sorted by the path name and you can sort uh, with you can sort with the count of created objects or other uh, parameters for example uh, so this Okay. There is, so this log is uh, uh, captured at the, uh, one, after 1,000 requests. Okay, after 1,000 requests, so compare with the other lines, so these, these lines create many, many uh, objects we can understand. So checking the, this, checking the, this source code, So 36 lines. Uh, it is di difficult to read, but the it this code uh, search the directory entries and uh, checking the all stamps files. So these lines can be cached. We can we can we can understand. So after this uh, optimization, you can uh, check the you can check. Uh, the problem was solved. There, there are other uh, parameters such as uh, count and uh, old objects count and the average age of uh, objects. Age means that uh, how many GCs, uh, how, the one, uh, how many GCs uh, survived for each object, and uh, minimum age and ages and maximum ages and mem uh, consumed memory. So using such a, uh, uh, tools, you can specify what is wrong and you, what, what you should do. So the last section is how to, be, how to reveal what uh, the performance issues. So, if you got uh, some error, I expect behavior. So we have many tools. So debugger or uh, modify error message. Maybe uh, you 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 always use better errors to to see the what is the uh, to see the uh, error message. And also, I want to uh, introduce other uh, Dijumin gem and pretty backtrace gems. Dijumin gem is uh, written by Yuki-san. And this gem is very clever that, uh, uh, for, for example, if you typo, so there is no F1 us name, then it will be a uh, name error, of course. However, however uh, with uh, a Dijumin first name message, so it suggests a similar name. So it is very uh, nice features, I think. And also, pretty backtrace gem is written by um, myself. And this shows uh, error message with uh, local variables, values. So each line, each, uh, each backtrace line, you can see the, the variable, variables and the value of the name. So there, is, there are many, many uh, f existing uh, profi uh, profiling tools or uh, some uh, clever tools. But if you have no suitable tools for your uh, issue, then 
you can make it. So recent Ruby uh, MRI provides uh, many features to make uh, such a tools. For example, trace point. Trace point uh, in trace point is uh, uh, trace point uh, inserts hooks for uh, some events, and also you can modify uh, your your favorite uh, frame message, message and uh, backtraces. And also there are uh, reflection features and debug inspection and more and more. So please check it. I want to show some examples. So for example, uh, I'm a newbie of Rails application programmer. So I want to, I want, if I want to know so when the, where is the uh, index method calls. So when I can, uh, when I write uh, this trace point hook and place at the uh, start, beginning of application, we can see the, we can see the, we can see the so long backtraces with uh, only a few lines. So I can understand where the index method is called. And other example, maybe if you got an error message, you got, maybe you got a, a frustration. But if your error message shows a heart, heart mark, then maybe we, we can calm down. <laughs> so this uh, short source code, so it's, it catches the uh, ex exception raising and modify uh, backtrace message with uh, uh, three hearts, and the result will be uh, here. It can be increased uh, frustration, but, uh, but the example, it is the example. And also, you can get uh, local variable names. So we have binding local variables methods to return the list of local variable names. And also, we have a binding local variable get method. So we can show the, uh, the local variable names and uh, corresponding uh, values. By the way, maybe if you write a, a keyword parameter, if you can, so usually you cannot use if uh, local variable because if is a keyword of Ruby, but using binding local variable get methods, you can get a uh, uh, local variable, uh, the value of uh, local variable. And also, uh, we provide a debug inspector gem. Debug inspector gem is uh, something like a Cora binding, but uh, it is uh, supported officially you can get uh, get uh, uh, all binding binding for uh, for the stack frames each stack, stack frames and you can get the uh, uh, the local variables for the each method frames so and also you can combine these techniques these primitives to make your own suitable uh, to tooling tools so it means that the uh, uh, pretty backtrace gem is written by these techniques. Maybe, so if you don't know about these techniques, then pretty backtrace uh, uh, is, you, you, can see, you can imagine that it is magical, but it's not magical. It is not magic, you can, you can make it. CRuby uh, MRI, MRI provides such a uh, the low layer, uh, primitive, so please try these tricks. So I want to, so I have no time, so I want to show only a few things. You can make a C extension a library uh, using the, uh, the low level C APIs. So using C APIs, you can, you can get, or you, you can control more and more for own, uh, for CRuby MRI. 
And also, you can hack Ruby. Ruby is also uh, open source software, and there is a very nice books, and uh, you can you can modify you can you can build your own Ruby Ruby interpreter to check to check your uh, problems. And also, you can combine uh, low level tooling such as uh, GDB, uh, Park, Bargrind, and so on. And also you can hack the low-level system such as Linux. Linux is also open source software, so you can hack these uh, systems if you need. So maybe you are a Rails programmer, and I, I agree that the Rails programming is fun. It's very fun. And also, low-level programming is also fun, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Today I want to talk. I want to say that uh, you can introspect your data application with uh, existing tools, and also you can make your own inspection tools for your data application in your own ha your hands. So thank you so much. <laughs>